Ow. 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 It's the one and done do. Fifteen's crew. Yeah, baby. baby. Today we have race number two. And if you don't know how this event works, we're going to be racing 20 cars never seen at the scrapyard before. And they only get one heat to make it across the line. And our first racer today is Waldo Wilcox from North Alamo, Texas in this tricked out 1953 custom Volkswagen bug. And that tiny little car will be up against this big old land yacht. It's this 1959 Chevrolet Impala. And that big old thing is driven by Little Miss Ariel Payne, hailing all the way from West Chatham, Massachusetts. Well, now that we've met the racers, let's get this race started. Here we are at the guillotine gate. Wow, Candy, just look at those two lined up like that. That bug barely goes up to the Impala side view mirror. That little bird could be all the way across the line before that Impala is even fully out of the gate. Three, two, one, go! They go wide! They go slip! Waldo was back over! I don't believe it! He's all alone! Whoa! He goes hard into the wall! Let's see that again! Wow! Another great one! For such a long boat, Ariel actually gets a great launch off the line! Jet coming down Blueberry Hill, both races go wide to keep it clean! And true to form, a whole lot of shaking has Mrs. Payne's and Paula hopping! It actually shakes both of them, sugar! Because they're both upside down coming around Monroe. But this next bit is just amazing. Waldo Wilcox uses that bug shape to his advantage because that VW flips over its back like an actual bug and is back on his wheels. And then Mr. Wilcox tears down the rest of La Bamba. But coming down Sunset Boulevard, he goes lightly into the wall and then brutally into the tires, getting himself flung like a bug off a windshield. Well, the other thing he also flung is himself into the next round. Because with that awesome reversal flip, Waldo Wilcox and his tricked out bug are tonight's winners. Unfortunately, Ariel Payne's time in our tournament was not as long as her Impala. And like her last name, it causes me pain to have to move her to the done pile. That's just the way it works here at the One and Done Challenge. And we really hope y'all come back for race number three. That's right. And you won't want to miss the next exciting race in the... It's the one and done do. Fifteen's crew. Yeah, baby. Hey, fans, have you always wished that you could work at the scrapyard? Well, have we got a surprise for you. Now you can get official scrapyard gear and feel like you're one of the team on the wrecking crew here at the scrapyard. And it's not just clothes. We have clocks. So you never miss a race. Notebooks. So you can keep score at home. And pillows. So you can cry in it when your favorite racer loses. There's a heap of products available to make you feel like you're part of the scrapyard. I see what you did there. Junkyard. Heap. I got it. So head over to the scrapyard official supplier by searching Ribuero on Redbubble.com. Or even better, just click on the link right down there in the description. And while you're there, check out all of Ribuero's great designs. That guy is awesome. He has enough designs to fill his own junkyard. Not that his stuff is junk. Oh, oh, you know what I mean. He has a heap. And each product you buy not only helps you feel like you're part of the scrapyard team, but it helps keep the scrapyard open and bringing you awesome diecast racing like the one you're watching now. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. And, and now, now back, back to, to the, the race. race.